Well, good evening. Welcome to Sell Your Own Product on Amazon for Income and Lifestyle with the emphasis on the lifestyle. That's the name of our program. I'm Terry Shire, your Amazon private label coach, and and just here to uh, uh, tell you about an exciting show we've got tonight because c quite a few times now we have talked about going over to Amazon and finding a product to sell, and we talked about making it better, and then this time we're going to add a little bit something, how to protect that product from Amazon privates, pi privates, pirates, uh, what can I tell you? Pri pirates. Uh, as you know, if, if anybody, if you've sold on Amazon, sold private label for any amount of time at all, you know that pirates are those people that like to come in and jump on your uh, listing when you don't know it. And uh, I hope you're not going to notice it. And I know it's, it's happened to me. Matter of fact, it happened to me, what, a couple of years ago. I'm sitting at uh, uh, Jim Cochran's CES conference and uh, it with a table full of uh, uh, FBAers and we're all talking everything and this lady next to him was telling me about it and said wanted to see one of my products and I so I pulled up my product and uh, and she's looking through it and everything and all of a sudden the table says Terry there's somebody on your uh, selling on your product too and I said oh no I'm private label it can't be and uh, she says no look at it and I looked at it and there was and so man uh, what can I tell you? I waited, uh, you know, till we, we were having lunch there when we got done and, and went back and, and went over and, and called Amazon and, and uh, complained and all that. And uh, you know what Amazon says? Well, we'll check it out. So uh, that, that's part of the reason for tonight's uh, uh, program is to tell you a little bit because there is a way you can protect yourself out. I didn't know that a couple of years ago, but I do now. And uh, it really makes sense. And it's it's really a really neat way. It's fairly inexpensive and it also adds value to your product. So if you just bear with us, we're going to go. I've got like usual, I've got a little short uh, PowerPoint presentation that I that I worked up for you. And uh, uh, so I'm going to go on over to that and uh, where are we? get right here find that and so we're going to get it and we're going to come over and going to share it on the screen here and this is our presentation for tonight is find a product make a better product and protect that product from amazon pirates how do you like that no pirate thing i found uh, i think that's really kind of cute and so uh, i had a couple people tell me that too so uh, anyway uh i'm not here to be cute or anything else i i am here to help you guys uh, uh prosper you know it'd be good private label people to find a product to make a better product from what you found and then protect that product and that's what it's all about and that's what we're going to talk about tonight so if you bear with me we're going to we're going to take this from the beginning and so where to find a product to sell on Amazon now this is not a no brainer but i get I, you know I, I i leave myself wide open because i ask uh, people they can go to my uh, uh, Google Plus site. You can go to the uh, 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 my own website, privatelabelselling.com, and a couple other places, and you can get a hold of me. You can ask me questions, and I'll do my darnest to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I'll say something and get back to you and find out if, uh, what it is. And so uh, uh, I, I try to be amenable. I, I'm retired. I've got time, and I just enjoy doing this. So uh, what can I tell you? And those people in the course, you know that uh, I'm available to the people in, in the on the course. Uh, almost not 24 hours a day, but uh, uh, quite a few hours during the day and they can get a hold of me. They got my phone number and get a hold of me and, and we go from there. And we have a lot of fun. We talk and, and we discuss things. And, and I guess, you know, the neat thing about it is that we find out a lot just working between one or the other and and trying different things and, and found out some neat stuff. But anyway, that's kind of getting off the course here. That was a shameless plug i guess so i just but anyway you can go over to private label selling.com and there's a thing on you should be on your right or your left of your screen uh that tells you how to get there you can go over and find all kind of information the course is 349 dollars and well worth it and and what can i say uh so i'm saying so where to find a product to sell on amazon amazon now hopefully the next screen here where not to go to find a product to sell on amazon and i'm serious about this because I get this, I, I I probably get at least oh let's say four to five emails a month saying oh Terry man I have gone to Alibaba and I have found this terrific product to sell on Amazon. What do you think? 
And I just write back and say, you're in the wrong place. How do I know what it's going to do? What it's going to do? Because you're not selling. It's not selling on Amazon. So where not to go to find products to sell on Amazon? Alibaba is the main one. Alibaba Express, Global Sources, Coal Imports, Wholesale Brands, any place selling physical products wholesale. Because you don't know how they're going to sell. You want to teach you to set yourself up to win. You know, you can go out there and try to hit a home run. I'd much rather you hit a single every time, you know, than go out and, and fail. I don't know how many times and, and hit hit a home run because the chances of you hitting a home run is about the same as as uh, uh, winning the lottery. It just don't happen that often, folks. So I, I'd much rather you go out there, do what we teach you to go on Amazon, find a product, and we're going to get into that. But this is not Alibaba, Alibaba Express, Global Sources, Coal Imports, Wholesale Brands, any place selling physical products, wholesales are not the place to go to find a product. They're after you pick out the product and you know what you're going to say, then these are the places to go to source the product, find out where you can get it and what kind of a price you can get. These are the places to go. But for gosh sakes, guys, you don't go there to find a product. All right? All right. So what do I look for on Amazon? All right, if you're going to go over to Amazon, and if you want, if you go to the site privatelabelselling.com or you go to uh, uh, the other sites, uh, uh, <laughs> why can't I'm drawing a blank right now? The, uh, uh, But you can go and you'll see all the past uh, Google Hangouts we've done. They're all listed right there. They're free for the viewing. All you got to do is click them and, and watch them. And we're going to change that here in a little bit. We're working on that. It's going to go to all you have to do is put your email address in there once to get access to the site. It's no more, but uh, uh, so that I can maybe, you know, send you a, a, a little uh, announcement once in a while or make things a lot simpler. I'm not trying to make it harder for you. I just want a little bit of control over it. So, uh, so I, and, and I've done, I have done two or three of the, uh, uh, the states where we've actually gone over to Amazon. I show you what to look for and show you how to find the products and how to find the products. And we've done that uh, live on the, on the program here. So you're welcome to go get them. Like I say, on eBay, not eBay. What am I talking about? Uh, uh, anyway, uh, my website, uh, privatelabelselling.com or the Google Hangout. You know, you can go there and check the, the, uh, the listings. They're all listed on there, all the old Hangouts and that, where I've done, where I say how to find a product on Amazon, go there and, and, and the, it's, it's not that old. I think the last one I did was probably only maybe about four or five months old. So they're not old and they're really up to date. So uh, uh, take advantage of it. Go up there, go over there and look at them. And uh, while you're there, sign up for the course. What can I tell you? <laughs> uh, so products in, what do I look for on Amazon? Products in ungated categories that are, now wait, I want to back up here and tell you that there is nothing wrong with selling something in a gated category. That's not products in ungated category. And the reason I put that there is because if this is your first time, you're looking for a first for a first uh, product to sell on Amazon, you don't need to be messing about in gated categories because that's just one more hurdle you've got to accomplish, one more hurdle you've got to go over, one more hurdle you've got to conquer and everything like that. The place, if you want to get into gated categories, after you get a couple products in there and selling it, if you want to get into gated categories, go for it. If you want to do it now, go ahead. It's just going to be a lot more work. To, to get into gated categories because you're going to have to jump through the hurdles for whatever Amazon at that time. And sometimes Amazon, uh, if they want people in a category, they'll let you in or just that. And sometimes if they're full and they've got what they figure too many people in the category, they're going to make it hard for you to get in. So that's just, so, so what I'm saying is right now, if you're starting out, don't worry about the gated categories. You can get that after you get the system down, you know what you're doing, then worry. And then, pass the test and there's a lot of companies out there and if you go well and of course i've got them listed there's two companies where you can go they'll help you get in get ungated in a matter of uh, you know a couple hours or some sometimes 24 48 hours they can get you ungated and get you approved so uh, uh, we list those in the course so anyway uh what do you look for when you're going to amazon we're looking for a product that's selling good now i left the rank below because uh, we teach that in the course but you know i if you can get a product that's ranked below a thousand, it's real simple. You know, you can go from one to a hundred and some thousand as far as that, as far as rank, but the closer you are to one, the more that product is going to sell. And the closer you get to one, the more that product is just going to fly off the shelves. Cause uh, uh, man, one is where you want to be. 
you know, uh, it, when you can get to one, you got it made. You got it made. So what can I tell you? Set you, but that's what you're looking for. If you're going to go to Amazon, go down there, whatever category you want to go in, and look for products that are selling. Look for the ones for something you think you could sell. And these are, the, and then when you look for that that product, then the next thing you look at is how many reviews does that product have? If that product has got eight, nine hundred reviews, forget about it. I'll tell you that right now. Unless you got bukus of money to burn through, uh, forget about it. Because I, as I've explained, I don't know how many times Amazon looks at the number of reviews as one of the main categories. Uh, all things being equal, if your product is the same as the other one, and everything, the one that's got the most reviews is the one that Amazon's going to show, and only rightly so, because Amazon wants nothing more. Now, follow me. To, for then their customers to get the best uh, product or best deal possible at the best price the best product at the best price that's who they're going to show because they want their their customers to get the best deal what can i tell you about it that's amazon and and that's amazon they could care less too so much when it comes to the sellers they, they and uh, we're going to talk about that a little later in the thing so I, i'm going to drop that right here but uh but that's what you're going to look for you want to have enough reviews i personally like uh, I don't like to go over 100 reviews because I'm going to tell you something. It's going to cost you money to jump those reviews. If if you've got a uh, if you're going against somebody that's got 100 reviews, that means you've got to come up with 101 reviews, and then Amazon's going to start showing your product first instead of the other one. And that's what you want. That's what it's all about. It's competition, folks. It's competition. But we teach you in the course how to do it. We teach you we teach you how to get there. How to get that. Uh, uh, get the ranking and how to get noticed and stand up there and shout. And when you can shout, hey, look at me, I'm beautiful. This is my product, you know, or I'm a great product. That's what you want. We teach you how to do that. Can you be private labeled? Can the product, in other words, the product that you're saying, can it be private labeled? Well, if you're looking and if you're looking and say, oh, gosh, you know, I'd like to uh, private label a uh, 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 what? Uh, a Sony television? Well, it ain't going to happen, folks. You're not going to private label a Sony television. You're not going to private label a branded product. Now, get out from here. You know, uh, you can private label a, a can opener, uh, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff, but you're not going to private label a, a, a television set unless, uh, you know, or something like that, unless you've got tons of money. And if you've got tons of money, you probably don't need to be selling on Amazon if you got that much money because uh, uh, we're talking big bucks to private label a, a television or something like that. But then the next thing, but but you like I say, uh, egg timers, uh, uh, even coffee makers you could get, uh, carafes, uh, uh, some like we talked about the other day, those fruit infusers, uh, uh, lids for uh, uh, products. Oh, man, there is just so much stuff. Uh, clothing, of course, that's a gated category. But uh, uh, as we're talking about right now, private label, there's, you look, the, and they've all got their top uh, 100s. Look at them, for guys' sakes, look at them and find something that you can, and you'd be surprised. Some of those things that are, are in the top 100 have only been there for a few days, and they a lot of times don't have a lot of reviews. So look at them, but just be cognizant of them and go through it. And, you know, it, it, it amazes me because I, Again, I get emails again. So Terry, I just looked and looked and looked, and I cannot find anything to sell on Amazon. And I'm thinking, oh, give me a break. You know, I can go over there and I can guarantee you within five minutes, I can usually five find at least one product to sell on Amazon. You know, and and it's simple. All you got to do is I tell you what I've got right there. Go there and find it, and use your own common sense. If it can be private label, you know, if you can if you can buy a private label of that product and put your own brand on it, and it, and it can be private label. Like I say, if you're going with the Sony television, you're not going to private label that, but you can uh, a Sony egg timer or a uh, uh, Joe Blow's. Uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, steak thermometer or something like that. You better believe you could private label something like that, you know. Uh, and even if you find the, uh, uh, well, well, I'm not getting into that. We'll talk about that. But then you want to make, can if it can be private labeled, then the next thing, and we're going to talk about that in great detail tonight, can be made better. Can it be made better? In other words, <clears throat> there, there's so many ways to make it better. Uh, can it be made better? How to make the product worth more money. That's can it be made better. You can add to the perceived value 
of the product by and the easiest way and i i talk talk about this until kind of i'm blue at face and and everybody i think they uh think i'm just up here just to hear myself talk well you know i stutter and stuff like that so <laughs> what can i tell you but anyway you can add to the perceived value by upgrading the packaging that's the simplest way i see so many people go there go over to amazon and they pick out this product and then they go to the supplier over at, in alibaba or wherever or global sources over in china and they start talking to them and then they start trying to cut the price down they're trying to cut the price down because they're worried about the product they're going around is selling for or 29 dollars and man the way they look like they're going to have to sell theirs for 31 or 32 to uh, uh come up with it and get the packaging better that's great folks there's nothing wrong with it i want you to price your product better greater than the one you're trying to compete against that just makes more sense some people will buy it just because it is more money you know, I'm going to tell you, some people want the best. And what you want to do is try and, and upgrade your packaging to make the perceived value so much better. You know, so many times I, I see people, they go over there and they, they buy the product, have them shipped over here in a blister pack or worse yet, a poly bag with a, 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 a label across the top that really looks so crummy. You know, I realize that the, you're, you're selling from your package. I mean, not from the package, but you're selling from your Amazon uh, listing. And if you do it the way we do, you've got seven or, or eight great photos in there that display everything and show everything and all that. And, and, and that, that's helping. But then you send your product out in a cheap little plastic bag with a uh, uh, label over the top. Come on, guys, give me a break. Uh, Put some thought into it. You know, you want these you want these customers to be customers for life. And you know, when they see the value they get from you, and believe me, they notice the company. They notice the company because you can have your name on your label and everything else, and they see what a great value you got. Instead of putting it in a plastic bag, maybe you could put it. And I've talked about this before. Put it in a little box because you could put so much uh, graphics on that box. And really make it look sharp, and 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 you can stuff a love letter inside the uh, the packaging. Uh, quite a few things. There's a lot of things you can do by using a box as opposed to a bag. Now I'm going to tell you, it might cost you three, four cents more an item. Guys, give me a break. You want your product to be the best looking product in existence, because I'm going to guarantee you, if you don't somebody's going to come in behind you and upgrade it and make theirs look better. So you better get to the point where you decide and quit thinking about it. I'm tr and trying to shave three cents off of my product. You know, I don't care for guys sakes, put some money in that packaging and let it and make it look good. Now you can create a bonus pack. What do I mean by create a bonus pack? Say if everybody is selling a eight ounce, there's no reason why you couldn't do a 10 ounce. It's going to cost you, believe me, not very much more. You'd be surprised when you get it figured out. It's not that much more, folks. You can create a bonus pack. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard for what we're talking about here to do a, a two-pack or three-pack. That's that's not what we're talking about here. But you're going to create a bonus pack or maybe a trial size. Uh, you know, throw that in or something like that. But give it add to the perceived value you want your product to be looking so much better than the competitions or the ones you're copying you want that you want it to look like man you're the one that started they were the they're the ones that uh, were uh, copying and they didn't do a very good job that's what you want and you can do it man create a bonus pack increase the size like i say as i give it an eight ounce go to a 10 ounce you know whatever you have to do but increase the size you know uh, and then, and then I'm going to talk to it. Create a bundle. You see, I've got a bunch of question marks down there, and this is a kind of a bumble. This is a, a bundle right here. It's a bumblebee and a thing full of candy. That's a bundle, folks. That's a bundle. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little later on. We're going to get into it because uh, that that's part of the secret weapon we're coming out with, and uh, not, not coming out with. It's just common sense, but I'm going to show you about. So bear with us, and we're going to get into bundles here in a minute. So. That's how you go to Amazon. You pick out your product, and then you make that perceived value of that product. The perceived value might not be anything more than a penny or 
the actual value might not be anything more than a penny or two more than your competition but if it looks like it's a couple bucks worth that's what's that's how you win guys that's how you do it and that's mainly doing is, is like i say in your packaging and some of those other things that are really inexpensive and yet so many times i pe see people and i see a lot of my students do the same thing terry went over and i worked out this great deal and i say well what's the packaging like oh we got it in a blister pack with the label on it and i said oh give me a break give me a break come on protect yourself so that's what we're talking about tonight how to protect that product from amazon pirates wow what is an amazon pirate we talked a little bit about this, but uh, I've had them. I told you, sitting there at uh, CES, and the lady I'm, I'm kind of not bragging about, but I guess maybe I don't know if I was bragging or what, but she was asking me about my product. And I said, Well, here's one. Showed it, and she looked at it and says, Man, you got competition. There's somebody on your listing. And I said, Oh, no, I'm private label. Nobody can come against my product. Well, they can. So, and I'm going to tell you, it's getting more and more complicated common because there's a lot of people out there teaching Amazon private label. You can probably see it. I don't know. My e inbox gets full almost every day. I'll get one or two offers for, and, and a lot of it's going around in the affiliate marketing now in the, uh, with Amazon and all that. So, you know, uh, just take that as a grain of salt, but I'm going to tell you the competition is getting rough. Rough? I don't know if that's the word I want to do, but the competition is getting, uh, bolder i guess reason why because a lot of people are getting in there and they're not doing very good because they're they're going some of these people teach some really garbage believe me and uh, i'm not mentioning names or anything else but uh, i i just cringe sometimes i hear some of those statements they get but uh, uh but anyway they got them and, and because they got them started people got these products and all that they're start they're starting to steal listings they're starting to do anything to get rid of their product so uh, uh and i don't want that to happen to you so i'm going to teach you how to protect that product we just say and you got that new product and how to protect that product from these amazon pirates because i'm going to tell you something right now uh the answer is create a bundle uh I guess it's later on the next slide maybe but we're going to talk about that but the, the answer is is to create a bundle now uh create a bundle yeah and i, I mean i might have I might have well, i hope i don't have problems trying to teach you what 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 i'm trying to teach here but here and, and follow along with me because uh, uh a bundle is two more products listed in a title now i've got that italicized it didn't show up very good but for a very good reason because i want you to put the the other part of the bundle in the title and we will explain to you later on so here's just some sample products i i put out a, a, a fruit in, a fruit infuser that's one of those things you know where you put the fruit in the little thing in the center and uh, uh fill it full of water and within a couple hours it picks up all the taste and a lot of the goodies from the from the fruit and makes that uh, fruit infused fruit excitement recipe book you know at, at that uh, so you can do that uh, fruit infuser in a six page fruit inside recipe book wow isn't that great man and don't you think people are going to want that you know when you're comparing your fruit infuser to joe's fruit infuser and joe's is a good looking fruit infuser don't get me wrong and stuff like that and it's it's probably maybe dollar two dollars uh, less than yours but yours look at you've got a fruit infuser plus and you want to do it you've got a six page fruit inside in excitement recipe book and that's probably a funky title i'm sorry about that but uh, i was just kind of doing this and and did these really in a hurry so uh, uh Here's another one I came up with a sushi kit. You know, a sushi kit could be a, a, a cutting board with a sushi knife and a couple of those rollers and all that. And then with a seven page how to roll sushi rolls instruction book. Uh, you know, it'd be great. And we're talking, uh, we're talking minimum amount of money to uh, uh, come up with that seven page how to roll instruction book. You can do it. Uh, uh, you can get somebody to write a book like that for probably less than $250, uh, you know, and uh, there's all kind of places out there to do it. Uh, what can I tell you? And and so to worry about, and uh, 
and the here's the great and i i didn't put this in and i and i should have because they were worrying about well how am i going to do this well i'll tell you how you're going to do it you're going to have somebody over in the states that understands english it's got a good english and all that you're going to have them write that book for you it might be like i say 250 it might cost you a little bit more cut could cost you a little bit less depends where you go there's a lot of places out there to do it but now follow me now you take that and they bring it back to you in a file now you can send it here in the states, someplace like that, at a nice printer or, so, and a printer or something like that, and get it printed for you. Get it printed for you. How many products are you? How many uh, sushi kits are you going to order from your thing? Say you're going to order a thousand, so you want to have at least a you know a thousand and ten or something like that printed, so you got some extra, and you can brag about it and all that. But the, no, you, you get it. So, but where do you? have it printed no you don't have it printed in the states chances are now follow me you talk to your supplier over there and most of the suppliers some of the bigger suppliers all have in-house printing plants in their factories and if they don't i guarantee you that guy who's you're talking to has got a friend in the in the same town or something like that who just happens to have a printing press that would be glad to run your pages off all you have to do is send them the the file and they they take over and it's all done by files anymore and they can print your your book right there they might not be able to read it and anything of it but it doesn't make any difference and you know they and get it and get it back and and and, and look it over and make sure it's okay before you do and that's what you do and then your supplier he sticks that book right inside yeah this is important you want to stick it inside your product you want it to be in your product, and that's one of the what's one of the advantages of, of selling and, and using a box like I was talking about, uh, because it's so easy to put it in, even with a, a plastic bag, you know, or, or a, a cellophane or what you want to call it. You know, you can actually put a, a book in there too, but it's not the best way. The best way is in a box, nice presentation with the box on the front and good artwork and stuff like that. Put a little money into your products, guys. Put them, in, especially if you're going to be in this full time and you want to get going. You want to be a brand that that stands out, sets it, stands up, and just says, "Hey, look at me, man! This is this is Terry's Blue Widgets." Oh man, we're fantastic, and that's what that's what this is all about. It's not to find out how to get the cheapest one. It's not how to get the get the cheapest right. So you can sell a product, you can have Amazon, and Amazon sends you the money, and you go on. That's not what you want. Not if you're in this private label to 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 stay. If you're in the private label to be part of your business. If you want this private label business to be something you can pass on to your kids, or you can sell at retirement. For guys' sakes, take it seriously, and let's put a little bit of uh, pride in our product. You know. So and and here's what I thought of too. Ex you could you could create a bundle, an exotic teak billiard cube, and a never before revealed breaking secrets of the I I don't have the commas or quotes in the right place. Uh, breaking secrets of the pro should be the quote, but uh, that would be your title, an exotic teak billiard cube. It could be the uh, same billiard cube. 15 others are selling, but I guarantee you nobody else is say, selling with the never before revealed breaking secrets of the pro. You know, and that's what it's all about. Make your product better. Get the perceived value of your product. I can't, I can't emphasize that much. Don't be another ran. That's the last thing you want to do is be another rand. You know, and just have a product the same as everybody else. Make your product stand out. Stand out and, and jump up there and take a look. Okay, so uh, that's something you can do. And it's real. And I told you how to do it. We get, Of course, we get into a lot more uh, uh, detailed and all that. But that's basically what you do. When a, okay, so we're going to start talking about a pirate now. When a when this Amazon pirate borrows, quote, your listing, what do you do? Man, if you're like me, you found out about that. I couldn't wait till I got back to the hotel room because we were at that CS conference I was telling you about. And uh, I went back and I uh, logged in and, and Seller Central and uh, uh, Amazon and complained about that. Hey, this dirty guy's on my thing and I'm a private label seller. He shouldn't be on my thing. Why is he on here? You know, and so I reported to Amazon. So what does Amazon do? Oh, hey, man, they were right on it. They promised me they will check on it. So you wait. And you wait a 
should have put it more in here. I wasn't sure. Right? And wait and wait. And of course, you're losing sales all the time because for every sale that you get, you're losing one because if, if they're in there sharing the sharing the buy box all of a sudden with you, then uh, you, you realize for every sale you get, you're, that competition or that pirate's getting the sale. So uh, uh, you're losing sales, of course. You know. So Amazon finally gets back to you and says, yeah, we found it. It's not the, the, the same product. And, and Amazon chases that pirate away. So, man, you go out and you do your happy dance, and you're just all excited, and then all of a sudden you find out a couple weeks later, or maybe sometimes it's even two, three days later, the pirate comes back. Why do they come back? <laughs> they like those sales, folks. They like those sales, and they're going to come out. Amazon's not going to do anything to them. They like those sales, and as long as they just not take it off for a couple of days and bring it back, they like those sales. So you contact Amazon again. Of course, you're losing sales again, but you contact Amazon and Amazon one more time, man, they promises to check on it. Well, I hope by now you get the picture because that's exactly what happened. But what I'm going to show you by using a bundle, there's one reason that one way that Amazon will take them off your listing in a heartbeat. And we're going to talk about it. So let's go. What difference does the bundle make? Okay. Follow my raising. Pirates are lazy. That's the reason they're pirates anyway, because they don't know how to make their own product sell. So they're gonna they, they, they find out somebody else's that's got a product just like theirs, and they're gonna jump on that thing and sell it because they take up that person's uh time and space and, and robbing. That's basically what they're doing. So they're privates because, you know, you can go anywhere. I don't care almost, I don't care what product you see on Amazon. You can go somewhere, probably over in China, Indonesia, Vietnam, India, and you can get that same product made. It's probably already on there where you can just pick it up. Or if not, you can go to find some of these companies and they'll make it for you. It's not impossible, folks. I will tell you that right now. But that's what Pirates do. They're lazy. They go find something. Oh, that's selling really good. It's it's number 50 in this, so they're probably selling, what, 100 a day? Maybe something like that. I'd like a piece of that action. So they go over and get it, and they don't care what the label says or anything else because it's the same product, and they're sending it into Amazon. Amazon can see it's the same product. The label might not say anything. I don't think Amazon even pays too much attention to the label, you know? And so uh, they get it, and they go up against their ASIN, and so... Uh, uh, that's why pirates are labeled. They're creepy. They're scum dogs. Let's be honest. They're uh, just a plain old fashioned scum dog. And uh, we shouldn't put up with it. But Amazon does because Amazon is, it, it, is, and I've said this before, Amazon wants to make sure that their customer gets the best possible deal. And they are actually better off by having two people on a listing because in case you'd ever run out the other person probably wouldn't run out at the same time and that product would actually in there so they'd keep selling amazon keeps selling money every day and so it's to amazon's advantage to keep that but so let the follow my thinking now pirates are lazy that's why they're pirates. pirates can buy your products also but they won't go to the expense or trouble to recreate your bundle adding the item Okay, so you've gone to this trouble, and like I just taught you, you you've recreated that uh, uh, teak, uh, amazing teak bu uh, billiards cue and breaking secrets of the pearl. And so you had this thing. May not, uh, man, they're not going to be able to. They won't know how to. They, sure, they can buy a product, have it printed and all that, but they're not going to go to the trouble. Remember, they say pirates are lazy. That's not their thing. They're not going to go do that. They're not gonna uh, steal that for one thing, because if you if you do that thing right on the book and everything like that, you're gonna trademark it, you're gonna patent it, you know, whatever you do, do and whatever you need to do, and we teach that in the course. You <laughs> you do it, and and so they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna have that go to the extra trouble of having that made, having it put on there, and your your uh, manufacturer sure as heck won't do it. If you do, man. You have to report him to Alibaba, and he'll lose. He, if, if you bought it through Alibaba or global sources like that, you report him, and they'll take his listing off just like that. They won't put up with it, folks. These people are in there, and they're, they're legit, and they want their their people their people to be honest. And and most of the people over in, in China, I'm going to tell you something. They want to sell you products more than you want to buy from them. You know. 
they've got to live just like you and I do. And they want to sell you products and they want to do the best job because they want you to come and back. And that's why they're going to give you a good price and they're going to work with you and they're going to find somebody to print that book for you because they know that you'd be a, a customer for life if you can get that book printed to them. And, and, and you think they're going to give it to somebody else? Heck no. So, if they try to steal your listing. Now, this is a pirates or lazy, so they're not going to, but they might have the same product like that, and they, and they look at, as they go through Amazon looking for, say, if you're selling uh, blue widgets, and say, oh, hey, man, here's Terry's blue widgets right now, and they don't really care too much about the listing or anything like that, but they can see it. They can buy the exact same blue widget, so they buy the exact same blue widget. Whether they put Terry's on the label or not doesn't make any difference. Most of the time, they don't. They just have the same blue widget, and they go on your listing, which Amazon sees as the same thing. So, so what happens when you find out? And this is what makes the difference now. You report them to Amazon right? But we report them as somebody that shouldn't be on your listing. No, you report them to Amazon as a seller that's not providing what's listed on the description. And I'm going to guarantee you some Amazon will shut them down immediately. No questions asked. They'll go to the warehouse and they'll check. And if they find that it, they'll take them off. And the chances are these persons will lose their Amazon uh, selling privileges. Why? Simply, folks, listen to me. And I've said this week after week after week. Amazon wants nothing more than their customers to have the best experience possible. And that means getting exactly what's promised them on the listing, meaning exactly get the product. And that's why I tell you, don't play around. Have pictures and describe your product and use all that and do all that stuff. And Amazon will back you up. But the worst thing you can do is to to be on a listing and then not provide what's product. And that's what these things are going to do because you've got the bundle in there. And make sure that then when I, I told you that, maybe I didn't stress that enough. When you when you do the listing, uh, that extra thing in there because that's proven. And that's part of the description. And that's the first thing Amazon is doing. And when Amazon goes down there, they're going to look and see that that's not on there. They will shut them down immediately. No questions asked. It's not we'll check on it. You know, they might say that for an hour or so till they go down and check on it and they will get them off and they're going to get them off of your listing and chances are they're going to lose their selling privileges. It's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. Amazon doesn't play around when you're trying to take advantage of the customer. I'm going to tell you that right now. And and I and I told that, I said that for for how many we're doing this thing? I think we're pretty close. I think we're over a year now, but uh, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, what can I tell you? They're going to shut you down because they want their customers have the best possible experience and they will do everything in their power to make sure that happens. And that includes shutting the seller down. That's why you don't want to play around with Amazon. You don't want to play around. All right. So, why bundle? <laughs> Why bundle? All right, let me ask you, just real simple. Would you rather wait while Amazon checks on it? Or would you rather smile as the pirates are shut down? What can I tell you, folks? It's your decision, and it's your your product. Your, and I just showed you how, so I'm going to stop sharing here and uh, get over here. And for some reason... This doesn't get back here at the right thing. There I am. It's all in my handsome glory and everything. <laughs> How you doing, folks? Uh, wow. I hope you found that as exciting as I do because uh, uh, because I've known about it and I realized that I had not uh, shared that uh, and I've been playing around with it. But like I say, Amazon, the one way to get Amazon on your side is – is if you can prove that your competition is not providing what they're selling you. Amazon will shut you down in a heartbeat. And I said this week after week after week, Amazon wants nothing more than to have their customers have the best possible selling situation, uh, best possible uh, 
when a buying situation, I guess is what you call it, when a customer is going to buy, they want them to have the best and they want them to, to recommend Amazon. They want them to recommend you. They want them to recommend your product and they will go to great extremes to protect that. And that's why, you know, like I say, it's to their advantage to have two people on a listing because they don't work to. But if that second person is trying to cheat the customer, seal the cut, they will shut him down immediately. So that's how you protect your listing. That might be a little complicated, and you might have to change stuff. So be it. That's what this that's what this world is all about. It's change. You know, and sometimes I don't know, sometimes uh I'm going to say sometimes a private pirate, private pirate, might figure out some way else to do it. I don't know, but when we do, we'll cross that bridge with that because I tell you, good guys win always in the end. Good guys win, you know. Uh, I just know it. <laughs> Read the back of the Bible. Good guys win. What can I tell you? And uh, uh, trying to give you. So okay, I'm I'm here now, and uh, we got that. So let's go over here, and I'm going to. Put on the question and answer app. We will take questions. Uh, all right. Here's a. Uh, oh, wow. Somebody's already got questions in. So we're going to select right here. Uh, currently answering. Anyone need help with bundling? I can also help with that. Don Schaefer. Don Schaefer is an expert at that. Don Schaefer is the, in case you don't know it, he was on with me last week. And I probably should have had him on with this week. I, I should have just sent him a link, but uh, I never thought about it. So sorry, Don. But anyway, Don is an expert at bundling. Don knows what he's talking about. Uh, uh, great guy. And uh, can't have you not. He's, he, so he can help with that. Don help. Uh, Yes, and Don says, sorry, I missed. Oh, he's got a next one down here. Okay, so he's done with that. Said, select. Sorry, I missed. I was the phone with my son. Great topic. I love bundling. Yes, uh, and that's the secret. That's the one way to keep pirates off your Amazon listing. And most people don't realize it. Most people, if a pirate does come on that listing, they're going to come on the thing and they're going to, gonna call and can complain say somebody's on my listing they shouldn't be and amazon might catch it or might not but you owe it to yourself to point it out nothing wrong that scum dog that comes on there and trying to tree steal your listing it's not right you worked hard for that listing you built that bundle you built that thing so men report them in the uh, wink of an eye or whatever you want to call it anything like that and i'd have no qualms about it no qualms whatsoever you know, and, and get that scum dog off, you know, get rid of it. I get excited. I'm sorry, but uh, I, I do have, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I guess, let me see. I, I, I just turned the question thing on. Don had already think, uh, where the, how you answer, ask questions. You can ask questions. Uh, I'd answer anything you want here right now. Up in the right hand corner, there's a little nine dot box on the, in the, uh, box up at the top very thing if you click on that box one of those things will uh, and i don't know exactly what shape sometimes they change them around so i didn't look tonight but they're one of those will sell answer quest ask a question and you can click on that and it'll bring you up and you can ask a question so ask a question we've got a bunch of viewers on here tonight i hope that man uh, uh really meant meant something to you folks because uh uh I, I just get excited about that. Uh, nobody's jumped on mine, but I was thinking about that the other day, and or somebody asked me a question about that, and because uh, somebody had jumped on uh, one of their listings, one of the members of the course had asked me about it, and I said, "Well, you know," but uh, there is a way you can buy that, and I said, and I realized I hadn't uh, uh, just thought that's something I had to pull out. It was there, but I just haven't pulled it out and haven't expressed it so much i've talked about it before just vaguely and, and gone on to something else but uh, that's one way to get them off uh yes and, and don says i'll bring it up here don said uh bundling if done right also adds value you better believe it if bundling is right like i say uh you might be <clears throat> go back to that teak billiard cube uh cue you know uh there can be 15 sellers of a teak billiard cue on there. And they're all the same price. They're all around the same price and all that. And then all of a sudden you come in, you've got the same teak billiard cue, but by gosh, you have got the never revealed secrets 
of the of breaking secrets of a, a billiards pro or Minnesota Fats or, or something like that. Uh, hey, what can I tell you? Don't you think that puts your product far ahead? And and man, you can ask the premium price. So if everybody's selling theirs for for forty nine dollars, sell yours for fifty four, fifty nine even. That book is worth it, man. That's the secrets of a of a uh, billiards. Pro breaking secrets of the billions pro and everybody. If you know anything about pool, I played a lot of pool uh, years ago. I haven't here in the last couple of years, but uh, uh, how to break and get the balls balls to go you want that that's important, folks, and that makes that cue worth so much more. The perceived value worth so much more. And like Don said, bundling if it does right adds value, and it adds so much value. So you know what I'm trying to say is here, folks. Set yourself up to win. You know, uh, I've explained that. You know, you can go along. You don't want to be a crowd follower. You know, you want to follow the crowd to a certain extent. You want to take advantage of those products that are selling good, but then make that product better. Make that product the perceived value more and charge more, and you're going to come out ahead. You're going to get higher in the rankings. You're going to get higher in the reviews, and you're going to come out a winner because you're doing it right, and you're not sitting there trying to nickel. Uh, well, you know what I'm just going to say. <laughs> not trying to, to beat your supplier down in price and all that. I don't care if you do have to pay 50 cents more for yours than everybody else. But if yours has got a perceived value of 4 or $5 more, you're going to get the more money. So for guys' sakes, spend the extra time, the extra uh, – Go to or what do you want to call it? The extra time working it out with the supplier. Your supplier wants you to uh, to be successful. Why? Because he wants you to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. And he understands that if you can, and he knows this really well because if he can find a better cube, uh, exotic tea, Cuba or uh, Q, uh, and he can sell it to you for a. a a couple dollars more, but it's a lot better when you don't think he's going to do it. And he understands the concept, folks. He understands that. And he'll go out of the way. And like chances are, somebody in his Rotary Club or whatever they have over in China, maybe they don't have Rotary Clubs. I don't know what they have. Maybe they have, uh, I don't know, whatever they have. But they, I guarantee you they have cl clubs just like we do. And chances are he's going to know somebody with a print shop that would do a, a, a bang-up job for you at getting your book printed over there. So what they can is uh, understand it. It doesn't make any difference. You guys send them a file. It's written over here. You send them a file. They print it, put it, and man, they can stick it in an envelope and send you a copy of it back for your approval. And you get it in a couple of days and give them the final go, and you're set to go. Uh, it's not complicated, folks. It's not complicated. It's about as simple as you can possibly get. And we teach you all that in the course. I, you know, I. Uh, what can I tell you? I <laughs> Maybe I better shut up here before I get myself in trouble. Anyway, uh, I want you to be successful. I want you to have your product selling on Amazon. I want you to be getting those checks regularly from Amazon. And uh, uh, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? So anyway, that's where we're at tonight. And I'd love, love to ask questions. Don's asked a couple of questions. we got some viewers out there tonight. And I'd be glad to answer questions. You know, you can catch me on uh, YouTube. That's what I was trying to think of before. You know, I get on these things, and sometimes I get so excited that I get uh, tongue-tied or uh, I get a noon holiday. Uh, noon holiday. Uh, uh, noon is your it, – it's Korean for your mind, uh, something like that. Anyway, uh, I spent some time over in Korea, and that's one of the things that I remember. Noon holiday. In other words, you don't understand. Uh, something's gone haywire. So anyway, uh, what can I tell you? Um, now, I got so excited telling you about that. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, I, as you know, ex excited about it. I just changed it. You know, we've got a hurricane out here, and uh, it's coming. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's it. it Sometimes it looks like it's going to hit Don, and sometimes it looks like it's going to hit me. There's Don's a little farther north than me, so he he might not. I don't know, but anyway. But hopefully that thing's going to turn and it's going to go out to the, the sea out there. It's only 40 miles an hour, so it's not a hurricane. It's a tropical storm. I think it's, I think the 
thing at 75 mile an hour, what classifies a hurricane, if I remember right. Uh, I've been in Florida long enough. I've been here 38 years that I've been through some uh, pretty bad Francis and Jean I, I did, was in and, uh, oh, almost lost my lunch in uh, uh, the last one, whichever one that was. It was uh, uh, it was pretty bad. I, David was my first one years ago. Uh, did I ever tell you that uh, I came in from Illinois back in 78 and uh, I got down here right in January, something other. But three days after I got down here was one of the only times it's ever snowed in West Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, at that time, I'd just been down here three days and hadn't had a, didn't get a job yet or anything like that. And so I slept until nine o'clock that morning. And of course, the snow was all gone by that because it warms up real quick here. Even if it doesn't get cold, it warmed up. And I miss the snow, but everybody tells me. But uh, that was my present I guess I brought down from Illinois for Florida so uh, uh, what can I tell you uh, I'm having fun I'm on here we've got a few more minutes to go we usually try to keep this at the hour mark and I see it's I'm at 52 minutes right now but uh, I say you know it doesn't have to be if you got questions I'll be glad to answer them uh, what good and and like I say, you go over to the right, there's a little nine up in the top bar up there over to the right there's a nine little dot uh, thing like that. Click on that and that'll bring you up and one of those will be the place to and you click on it and it'll ask you to answer questions. Uh, they change it around so it's never in the same place and and it probably might be in one place of my computer and yours the other but it's always in that top right corner. So uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, uh, excuse me just a minute. So we're sitting here and uh, of course like I say, I've been down here long enough, but they're talking about this hurricane and everybody's, I was at the grocery store about four o'clock this morning and they're, uh, uh, everybody's talking about it and they're worried, especially the people that have ever been through one. They don't know what, and uh, I guarantee you by tomorrow, probably the, uh, if, if they keep the forecast up, the shelves are going to be uh, stripped and uh, uh, everything else because uh, people don't want to run out of their beer or whatever. And uh, oh, so what can I tell you? Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. I've got a I, matter of fact, you know what? I, you know, we moved last. I just have to think we moved last uh, last month, and my son in law has still got my generator in his garage. So I guess I just have to go over and camp with my son in law if it gets real bad. <laughs> oh, what can I tell you? Ah, it's a great life, guys. It's a great life. I'm still working on the um, on the place, trying to get it uh, fixed up, and um, I don't know. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Uh, like I say, I'm just, I'm kind of killing time here. I'd like to have some questions. Uh, but I hope you, hope you understand what that, what that bundling is all about. That's how to protect your product, how to protect your, your what's yours? You know, if you don't, nobody else is going to. You know, and like I say, when you call them, you tell them exactly what the problem is that the, the person is selling something is selling something and not providing it amazon will shut them off in an instant if you call them and sell them somebody's on your listing they're going to check on it and they'll check on it and they'll check on it and they'll check on it until you bug them a couple times and then they'll check on it and maybe they'll kick the person off and chances are within a week two weeks he's going to be back on so set yourself up to win create a bundle you know, the second product does not have to be uh, earth-shaking, but it should be something of perceived value like that book. Who wouldn't want to get it? If you're a pool player, who wouldn't want to get a free book, Breaking Secrets? Oh, anybody wants to learn how to break secrets. Or if you're what I taught, or if you're going to make sushi rolls, who would not want to get the instructions to how to make a, a good, tight sushi roll? What can I tell you? Uh, that's it. That's adding to the perceived value of your product. And that's where it's at, folks. You can stay one step ahead, I guarantee you, because if you don't, your competition will. And that's what it's all about. You want to get you the best product with the highest perceived value and if they're probably selling for the most money. I don't want you to sell your product cheaper than anybody else. I want you to be right ahead. I want your product to be at least a couple dollars more than anybody else because it should be worth more. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So I say it's 8:55. I don't have any questions. Don't have any person people asking questions like this. And I just get wound up and I talk about the same thing. But I want you guys to succeed. That's the 
purpose of my being here. And like I say, you can you can email me. You know where the uh, 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 private label selling dot com. Go over there and you hear all about the course thing. Uh, Three hundred forty nine dollars. Uh, I would love to have you as a course member. Man, we can talk every day if you want. That's where a lot of my course members all have my phone number. They know they can call me anytime between 9 in the morning and 11 o'clock at night. I'm available. The rest of the time I'm sleeping. Unless I can't sleep, then I get up and play on the computer or something like that. But ah, that's a different story. No, I, I used to sleep pretty good. Uh, what can I tell you? So, uh, uh, love to have you as part of the course. Love to have you watch it. Be sure and tell your friends on that about these uh, hangouts we do on um, on Thursday night, every Thursday night, eight o'clock p.m. Eastern, and uh, unless of course there is a hurricane out there, but that one's way out there, and we don't know for sure it's even going to hit this way. I really think it's going to veer off and go into the Atlantic, but uh, eh, we'll see. And if we do, uh, anyway. So I am going to sign out. It's 8.57. I'm going to say I'll see you later. I will see you on the next broadcast, which will be next Thursday, which will be, uh, I don't know what day it is. Let me see. Next Thursday would be the first. Wow. Next Thursday is going to be the first of September already. Man, that's that's the time when we got to be working on Q4. You want to make sure your stuff is in there. You want to make sure the products you've got, and that's because that's where you're going to make your money, folks. Q4 is where it's all about. Remember, we talk Q4. We're not talking October to December. Q4, as far as I'm concerned, is the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, until about the, the 15th of January, 15th to 20th of January. That's that's Q4 in my book. And whenever I say Q4, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, so bear with me. We would love to thank you for coming out tonight. I especially appreciate all the people that are on there. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help you out, let me know. When you join the course, I'd love to have you. Uh, Matt, we'll see you next Thursday night. And uh, Lord willing, and the creek don't dry, as they say. But anyway, uh, I got confidence. God's going to take care of me, and we're going to be okay. And uh, um, we'll talk to you during the week. I'm around. Just shoot me an email, and we'll see. But uh, God bless you. And